Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. Outstanding outside shooter, hit 42% from three-point range last year. This is Foster, his first shot and first made basket in almost two years. For his teammates, that's a nice job. Cole Huff, who had microfracture surgery on his knee at the end of last year, misses the shot. But Kyrie Thomas gets it back and gets his first field goal of the night. St. Louis. The zone here, Steve, from UKC. Oh, and how about the lob to Justin Patton? That's what he can do. I mean, you can just throw it up to the rim and he'll go get it. Clark misses his first shot. Patton gets it back. Watson throws it up and another slam. It's a combination that Omaha is really going to enjoy this year. You see, get in the middle of the lane, throw it up to the rim, flush it, and then in transition, just throw it up to the rim. Hey, you seen, and has really just continued to improve, and he's just scratching the surface. Thomas with the steal, Foster with the finish. Timeout, UMKC. Creighton has opened up a 10-point lead in the first four. Well at the four and Zach Hansen at the five for Creighton. Two different styles of players from Huff and Pat. Melvin Watson. So Maurice Watson. They're excited about Clark. They like what he can do. But you, you see Maurice Watson, and they're trying to decrease physicality overall and especially in the post so this is an area I'd go a lot both ways because it's going to be difficult to be overly physical he likes that left shoulder right hand jump hook you got to defend him accordingly Hanson gets it back Watson nails the three easy against UMKC swinging the basketball they will be active and getting passing lanes they're an undersized team they got to make their weakness their strength, and they'll do that defensively. Searden gets it back. Foster with that step back. Nails the three. Probably his favorite shot, Steve. The only six feet three. He's so strong. He's a guy you can post up. And I think that's something that Creighton will maybe eventually look at is trying to get him the ball into the block. Misses, but that does not count the basket. We've seen the full arsenal from Justin Patton. Even though he hasn't made him, he's taken a couple of jump shots. He's run the floor. He's gotten some lobs. What you've seen him is he's been able to go. Very good defense by Creighton, and the result is a pass slam. Broken record, but he has been impressive tonight. He's been active. Chicago and wound up being the MVP in the NCAA tournament. Uh, and seeing that's that's pretty smooth for a seven player there at times. Good job knocking down threes. Kobe Hegner then on the inbound. So Crick now 13 of 20 from the floor with a 19-point lead. One thing I guarantee you, Greg McDermott reminded his team about was being smart with the basketball. Six turnovers for Creighton so far. They've had so much success in the open floor, they've gotten a little too cute. Watch it. Oh, what a nifty pass. Watson looking for the screen now, gets it from Crumble, and then pulls up for the three. You were shaking your head no on that one. <laughs> That is, that's not his game. I mean, but maybe it is this year. You think we're seeing Philadelphia. He actually met him as a 10-year-old on the playground, and Iverson renamed Maurice Watson Shorty doo <laughs> That's more King's game, driving to the basket. That's where he's really tough to stop for UMKC. Rumble works it up right side. Foster with the pull-up. Nails the three. 
seven threes by the Blue Jays. And a lot of these. Thomas sneaking by the much smaller Xavier Bishop. Misses the shot and gets fouled by a big. He'll be the, that's his first field goal in college play. Making plays, and obviously Marcus Foster is another good option as well. Hansen working off the right side. Three seconds left. Hansen with the jump hook. It goes, and Greg McDermott will love that. It's crate number 21, and in discussion with Maurice Watson, his five-point guard. What a half from Maurice Watson. Seven is. One of six shooting from the floor. He scored over 1,500 points for his career. I mean, you're talking about the guy that was a wide player of the year two years ago. If he's not playing well, you can see he's going to throw in the game. That's some kind of strong by a six. Just let those guys go to work. Let's see if Richardson's and Kangaroos are more determined to go in that direction. Marcus, now Marcus with back to back Darn buckets. Only had seven starts last year, but lost 30 pounds. And they hit nine in the season. Harrison. And it's caught by Cole Huff. Huff. With the basket. He doesn't go. Pat rebounds. Ahead to Watson. the miss. Watch it, middle of the floor. Counts a basket. Which is so good in early transition situations. Look at the little stutter step, crossover, got a shooter in the corner so that help can't quite be there. And then through the contact, able to finish it. He has a knack. Thomas doubled. That's great passing inside by Harrell. That is so good. Trying to find out what each style is. Playing them regularly now, twice a year. I think the first thing Creighton realized was they needed to upgrade their length and athleticism at the wing spot. As Foster knows one. And he's a perfect example. Down, and here comes Watson. Pretty good. He had a little spin. And gets it to Foster. Falls up the floor. And then spins in the lane with the left hand. 